Hey everyone, welcome to another episode where we will be reviewing and unboxing another RC plane stand. I like these plane stands. Um, I have a lot of airplanes and I like to have a place to set them up, to maybe even just set them in a room, but more importantly, set them up at a field or just work on them on the bench. But in this episode, my good friend Glenn from RC Plane Stands sent me his benchtop model to unbox and review for you guys. So that's what you're seeing on the screen right now. So right on top of the box, we have the end pieces. This whole stand is made from Baltic birch plywood with quality hardware. It works well for medium 30cc to large 120cc RC planes. And in fact, later on in this video, I'll show a picture with my Extreme Flight 105 slick sitting in this stand. It's pretty cool. So what I'm going over now is I'm unwrapping the four arms that come with this. So we'll speed through the rest of the arms, but just want to show you how well this is packaged. Each one of these arms is packaged and wrapped separately. So there is a small instruction sheet, but there's not much of putting this together. You can see the, the foam corners. This stand is packaged very well in this box. So we'll set the box aside and look at the base, which is destined to hold some sort of tools for the next several years, some fasteners, some screws that just happen to stay in there. We all have it. All of, all, all of our stands seem to collect certain things, so enjoy this while, while it's empty right now. But again, very nice. I'm laying out all the pieces to the stand so you can see what, everything that comes with it. And now we'll go ahead and start putting this together. So the end pieces go in with a single wood screw. And this isn't glued or anything, so you can take that screw out very easily if needed to tear this down or save some space. And you're watching me put this together for the first time and kind of see here that my little mini Ryobi drill doesn't have the power to do it, but it's good enough to keep it there for now. We'll go ahead and put the other one in before, before I, I kind of give up and you'll see how I'll go to get the full size drill here in a second. And you'll see the side that I'm putting in right now. I didn't set it down all the way. You see there's a little gap at the little flange there. Um, later on, I pull out the screw. I didn't see it from the front uh, and set it down all the way. I was just kind of rushed through this. That was my bad. But you need just a little bit of power to get these in all the way. So now we will look at the arms and they are secured with a single bolt and you put the head on the inside, put it through the end piece, through the other side of the arm, put a washer and then you have your tightening nut that you tighten on. And the first time you do this, you're going to tighten this in and pull the bottom of the bolt cap, which is a square nut. You're going to pull and set that into the other side of the arm wood. And I'm not showing it here because I just realized I should probably show that. So uh, I will show that uh, on this arm real quick here. And it sounds like like you're setting a blind nut and it's actually it's uh, it, it pulls through the wood very easily and sets perfectly. So it's not hard at all to do this, but we'll show it right here. There you go. So you see there's there's a nut basically on the bottom of the cap and the first time you just got to tighten it and set it into that wood and now that bolt is seated in there perfectly. So that's all there is to these arms. We'll go ahead and speed through setting up the other arms. Glenn wanted me to mention that these are the stock arms and he also offers some arms that are skinnier to maybe facilitate holding the fuselage of maybe a pattern plane. So maybe still a, a larger sized fuselage, but maybe it's skinnier. So he has some options for some different arms. And I'm putting these arms kind of in a cradle position. You can actually put these on the other way. So the elbows are facing in and actually 
be able to facilitate holding a really skinny fuselage for maybe like a glider or a DLG or something like that. So there are options and um, we have some pictures here to show. And here's the stand all put together minus the straps and we'll go to get to those next. And it's just nice to see this laser engraving on both the sides and the side of the base. Made in the USA, rcplanestands.com. You can see here that I've created the sling of Velcro one wrap already. And you basically, you get two rolls of this Velcro and the arms already have the Velcro actually stapled into that wood. And you just thread the Velcro over and you make a sling. And the goal is to have to cradle your plane and have the plane sitting in the one wrap cradle about an inch off of the bottom of the base and then move the arms in to, to kind of cradle your fuselage from the side. So it not only it's being cradled fully around the shape of the fuselage, but on the side so it doesn't swing back and forth. And you were watching me figure this out for the first time and uh, I kind of thought that maybe the the one wrap you had to line it up perfectly but there's a lot of different options uh it's velcro so here's a picture of my top flight sea fury sitting in here and this is actually before i didn't actually have it cradled so it's kind of resting right now on the top parts of the end but we'll have some other pictures coming up to show you some other airframes Something like this for the Sea Fury is key because at the field, you need to be able to set it upside down to put the wing on. So something like this is nice, it will fit in the back of your car. And here is the Seagull Perestroika mounted correctly. You can see in the front and on the back, it's actually not touching the, the stand. The Velcro is cradling it on both sides and the arms are situated so they're holding and securing the fuselage from the side so it's not swinging back and forth. So this is to help some other plane stands have the thick foam that will only make contact in certain parts of the fuselage and maybe that can cause damage if the whole weight of the fuse is sitting on one or two points. The goal here is to have this cradle that holds the whole, the whole shape of your fuselage. Here's a picture of my Extreme Flight 105 Slick 580, and yes, that's a DA120 on there. And you can see this plane stand can hold a 105 inch model, 120 cc model. So really cool for that. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this review of the benchtop stands from rcplanestands.com. Glenn, thanks for sending this to me. And I hope you guys uh, get some good views and know what you're getting into and know what this benchtop model is all about. So until next time, we'll see you later.